hello and welcome thanks for clicking on the video I am your host Nate and I've got the Bandera for you this 1736 square foot home it looks really nice on the outside we've got this white trim against this dark brown and then you've got the light brown over here This is a three bedroom, two bath home. It's got a really good floor plan to it. It is wallboard. Don't let that fool you about what's inside. Trust me on that. The master bathroom in this one, it may be wallboard in there, but it looks spectacular. The shower is, yeah, you just wait. Now, with that said, this home can be had in sheetrock, except for your closets and your bathrooms. So you can get this home in sheetrock. So keep that in mind as you're looking at this home and you decide you want to make this your home and you don't like the wall board, but you really like the layout, you can get sheetrock. So now you're probably wondering, okay, why so many windows above the sink? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, there's a lot of windows above your sink. See what I'm saying? Pretty nice, huh? You don't usually see that many windows in, in some of your other homes. But this is at Oak Creek Homes in Abilene, Texas. Just want to say thank you for letting me come to film the homes. Okay, so as we come in, there's your front door. That's your master bedroom. So you do have a little bit of a recess off your living room here. So you have a little bit of an entranceway. So coming into your living room. It's nice to see that you're not walking in and looking straight into the kitchen and the dining room and all that good stuff. So here is our living room area. That is a really large living room. And I like this built-in that they used. Got plenty of storage or little cubbies here. I think I could even fit my receiver into one of those. Maybe, maybe not. If not, I know it'll fit down below. And what I really like is they went with the bigger shelf right here. So for your big TVs that have that big stand that sticks way out, it gives you plenty of room to put it there still if you don't want to mount it on the wall. So it's nice to see that they're starting to think about those kinds of things as they're building these homes. Now, as I said, this is wallboard, and as you can see, you've got the little strips and stuff. But one of the things they pointed out to me is these strips are a little bit wider than what you normally see in your wallboard homes. So just something that they do to kind of make it look just a little bit better. Now we've got the flat ceiling. It is an eight foot ceiling in here, and it's all recessed lighting. Now there is a spot there for a ceiling fan. And you've got your vents in the ceiling. Now as we spin around, look at how much space you have for a dining room table. Like, there's no table in there, but you can tell that that is huge. 
We have a wet bar over here with four drawers. You've got your under sink cabinet there. And I don't know if there's a door that goes over that or not. Looks really good the way it is. And then we've got a cabinet up here. Now you could set this up as a coffee bar, but that's quite a ways away from your refrigerator over there. So you might have to take that shelf out and put yourself a little mini fridge in there so you got your creamers and stuff down below. And then behind this door is a pantry. Now that is your water heater access in there. So unfortunately, if you had to take your water heater out for some reason, you would have to take out those two shelves, which are easily removable. Hence the reason why they went with wire racks versus the wooden racks in there. Now back to the size of this dining room. <laughs> Because we're going to come into the utility room here in just a second. So you've got recessed lighting there again in your dining room. So like I said, it's all the way throughout the home. Big flat ceiling all the way across. In our utility room, we have, of course, the furnace over there. We've got our side-by-sides. Wire rack up above them for setting all your cleaning supplies on. And there is a spot for a freezer still. And you have the sink. You've got the all-important sink for soaking your clothes or rinsing things off before you throw them in the washer. And look at the size of this island with the butcher top style countertop. And then we've got our cabinets in the island here. And then we've got this wall of windows above our counters. So and we've got the farmhouse sink. And we've got our cabinets up above. And some little display niches up there. We've got our stack of drawers next to the stove. So all your utensils are easily accessible. They do have the white tile backsplash with a little bit above all the way around your counter here. Before we get too long in this video, we better go get some bedrooms. Linen cabinets right here. You do get these square porcelain sinks. Three drawers. Hello, Raiden. And we've got the one-piece fiberglass shower tub combo. At the end of our hall is a coat closet. Now they've got obviously some trim supplies in here. 
And then in bedroom over to the right, or excuse me, the bedroom to the left. And that's a pretty good sized closet. And this one gives you kind of a walk-in style closet. Now back to over by our front door here. Let's go get the master bedroom here. So you've got three great big windows in here. Now all of Oak Creek homes are made here in Texas. Now they have two plants, one in Dallas, one, I can't remember the name of the town, just outside of Dallas. That's where this one is made at, which is, and they have a different type of manufacturing facility there. So that's why this one can only be done partially in sheetrock versus at the other plant where they're designed to do everything in sheetrock. In fact, that's all, he said that's all they do is sheetrock at that other facility. So this one has got a large walk-in closet. And they even thought about your door banging up against your, your rack there. I've seen like these little nice little touches, things that I haven't seen in other homes. So it kind of sets them apart from other homes. I've never seen anybody put a little protector deal on the wire rack so the door doesn't hit it. And then we've got these square porcelain sinks in here with the great big long vanity mirror. And then our lights up above. I think it's been a while since I've opened a drawer in a bathroom. And I remember I told you this was going to be a really nice bathroom. So this is like a two piece bathroom. <laughs> We've got our tub over here, and as you can see, that is a really long tub. Perfect size soaker tub. Transom window up above you. On this side, you've got more drawers and cabinets with your makeup area. Now, I didn't turn that light on, but you do have a light up above it. And then we've got our linen cabinet back here. And then we've got this half of the bathroom. So there is your toilet area and it's a nice wide area so you don't feel cramped up. But now the only downside to the toilet there if somebody's in taking a shower, you're staring at them. <laughs> but you've got the tile shower with the shower tower head. And it's got the wand on the other side there. But take a look at the size of this shower. That is a great big shower.
Told you y'all were gonna like this bathroom. So with that, you should be leaving me a comment down below as I step out of the shower. So you got a little bit of a step there. All right, anyway, leave me a comment down below. What did you think? I know it's a wallboard home, but you can get this in sheetrock, so forget about all that. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notification bells. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will see you soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, so what did you think of the Bandera? I think this is a really nice home. There's a lot of options with this home. In fact, I'll, I should have showed you some in the previews with the pictures at the beginning. I'll have some more here coming up here, you know, as I'm doing the video. But uh, we got to get into some price information. So pricing is at time of filming in January of 2023. Now keep in mind that prices could go up, they could go down. There could be extra city, county fees, things like that that we can't always account for, extra delivery fees. You know, Oak Creek Homes does deliver around the surrounding areas of Texas. So obviously the further out you go, the more delivery fees you're going to have. So you got to keep all that kind of stuff in mind. But uh, currently at time of filming, they have this home starting in January of 2023 at $159,000. Now I'm assuming that the one I filmed because most of the homes that they had on their, on their lot were base models. So this is probably pretty close to a base model if not the base model so hopefully I'll you know get a good idea what the price is but anyway I will see you in the next one thanks for watching make sure you're hitting the like button hitting the subscribe button all that kind of stuff and uh, I will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye